been I think about two weeks since I last uploaded a video on this channel. I was doing so well, you know, doing like a regular upload and I worried some people and I am so sorry that, you know, I kind of, you know, was on hiatus, short hiatus without really any kind of warning. But I was just, I don't know, I was just emotionally and mentally dealing with a, lot, with a lot of stuff. Everything is fine. Nothing is really, really seriously going on. But you know, if you're a person, everybody has ups and downs. And I just happen to be um, going through a very hard down compared to my usual. So I just had to take some days off. But now I'm back and I am just so excited to share so many things with you guys. If you guys didn't know already, in last month, which is June, on June 21st was my birthday and I turned 32. I know, it's crazy, right? I think I started my channel when I was 26. So it's like you guys have seen me grow up from like a baby baby, like YouTube baby, to a little kid. I am six years old. This channel is six years old. So yeah, if you guys have been around for that long, thank you. If you are new, thank you for joining our community. But today, I wanted to share with you guys the stuff that I have received as um, my birthday gifts. I kind of do this every year. I think last year, maybe I didn't do it, but I try to do like a birthday haul every year. And so here it is. So my parents, my sister, and uh, my mother and father-in-law, they all gave me Amazon gift cards, which was perfect because I'm a type of person who kind of makes a wish list out of stuff that I want to get but I kind of don't want to spend my money on so so them giving me Amazon gift card was a uh, so perfect and I kind of splurged on some of the items that I wanted for a while so for a while I've been wanting to try out bullet journaling um, and if you guys hear me talking a little funny I have a new crown in my mouth so I'm still getting used to talking with this crown in my mouth anyway um so I've been wanting to try bullet journaling for a long time because I I actually love using my ring binder um, planner but the downside is once I'm like you know I have so many inserts and like they need to be out of the binder I just didn't know where to put it but I just fell in love with um, the bullet journaling videos and I just love the idea of having one book and once you're done with it you can just keep that book and it's already you know, bind so that you do not have to worry about loose pages. Not only that, I thought it would be really fun to, you know, kind of explore my creative side with it. And I can still use my stickers in it. So yeah, I wanted to give it a try. So I got me a dotted journal. This one is from Puloma. I know there are major, like popular bullet journal notebooks out there. I did my research, but I just did not like, I do not like in general thin papers and they all just seem to have too thin of papers for my liking so I wanted to get this one. This one claims that it has pretty thick paper so I'm going to try it out. Um, I also have Hobonichi A6 coming in um, hopefully really soon which I'm going to use it as like my journal um, like my diary and this one is going to actually be like a bullet point journal and I think it'll be really fun so I got this one from Amazon with the gift card oh by the way all of the things up until the point I tell you like th so that's it like that's all going to be the stuff that I have purchased with the gift cards then I also got this set of Sakura Jelly Roll um, bright white pens um, this set actually has fine medium and bold points so I thought that was really cool because I wanted one of each size and I was like oh my gosh should I do I want to get like a box of it and then I found that set with all three of them so I was like perfect that would be so nice so I got that set and then I also got this um, fine tech Pearl Lesson Colors palette, which is really, really cool. A lot of people use this to like add that pearl like foiled effect to their journal and their art and I've been wanting one so now I finally have one. Like I said, these are all of the stuff that I wanted for a long time but I just didn't want to spend my own money on it. And then I got Koi Watercolor Palette Set. This one has 30 colors. 
Oh, that's another reason why I wanted a thick paper journal, bullet journal, because I wanted to not just like, you know, write it in it with pen or color with markers, but I also wanted to use watercolor in it because I'm trying to get back into it. And I thought this would be a really nice palette to kind of just like, I don't know if I want to travel with it because it's like really compact. The watercolor palette that I currently have is, it's so big. I had it since um, middle school and it is very big. <laughs> and I also got a set of, um, the medium size uni po posca posca markers um so these are very opaque which is perfect and um they had like a bundle deal for like every color of each um of the size so they had one for like the fine point and the medium and the the thicker one i thought about getting all three sizes but then you know of course like when i added everything up it just was kind of going over my budget of Amazon gift card so that wasn't an option so I started thinking like okay which size do I think I'm going to use the most and I thought it would be the medium size so I got the medium size which is the 3m size I believe they have 1m 3m and 5m um, so I got 3m size of Posca markers and I think these are going to be so much fun to work with and yes I have been waiting to show it to you guys first so i have not opened any of these uh materials so you better believe <laughs> after i show it to you guys after this video i am going to be just ripping i mean not literally but you know taking the packages off and trying them out tonight on my planner and i'm so excited now here's the final item i got from amazon and this item is actually like a video item because i want to make a video with it not only that I love anything that is like arcadey. Like I actually, if it wasn't for all the plushies that I have, like if I could theme this little office, which I am planning on doing uh, like a tour of it, hopefully by the beginning of September or the, the end of September, the latest, because that would mean that I have lived in this house for a year and there are some parts that I am not some. Most of the parts are still not organized. So once I actually have everything ready and everything is where I want things to be, I'm going to do a tour and show you guys how everything is laid out. And I'm also going through a lot of stuff and kind of getting rid of my old collection because I have very limited space now that I'm married. It, it's different. Married life is very different. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is one of the items that I have been wanting for I think almost two years. Honestly, almost two years. I don't know why I never got it, but I actually got this gachapon machine. This one is a mini one. So you know the gachapon machine when um, that you see when you go to like ThinkGeek or like Japanese arcade? It's like that one, but it's smaller. So it's like mini size. So instead of, I think the actual one is like this big. It, I can't, yeah. Let's say, pretend the actual size is this big, right? The regular one you will see in stores. This one is like, I think, two thirds of a size or maybe even a half of the size. It's very small. Um, but even if I do not use this for my like gacha pon videos, I thought it would be such a fun prop to have in my room I, because I love these kind of stuff um, I actually have a lot of machines, not too many but I actually have quite a bit of like gachapon or gumball machines in this room which I probably will show you once I do a tour so that was the last item I got from Amazon using the gift cards I have received from my parents um, Ryan's parents which is my parents-in-law and my sister Jenny also on that note a lot of people have been asking me if Jenny was doing okay because she hasn't been really posting videos on her channel um, she has a full-time job right now and she is really busy um, and she doesn't really post on um, YouTube because you know it's a different process but she's been streaming a lot on Twitch um, so yeah if you want to go check her out go show some support on her Twitch channel which if you know her YouTube channel you can search that name on Twitch and you should be able to find her no problem and also for those of you who's asking why Jenny is not in my toy videos or toy hunt videos, it's because I actually moved to Orlando, Florida, and my family is still back in um, New Hampshire. So it we it, it's physically impossible to uh, go on toy hunts together. I hope we can, maybe during holidays. Who knows? So moving on to the gifts I have received from friends. These are the gifts I received from my friends Jomi and Taylor. They actually went to... Um, 
Washington and they came back with some souvenirs and gifts and you know they actually surprised me the following Monday with like a whole bouquet of balloons which I do not have a picture of I feel so bad and so sad that I did not take a picture of it but they came to my house with the bouquet of balloons and and they took me out to late birthday lunch which was really wonderful and they also gifted me a lot of stuff they spoiled this girl I do not drink coffee I used to but I do not drink coffee anymore because I got addicted to caffeine and that was a whole ordeal that I it, it took a lot of commitment to completely be of like caffeine free I mean I still do take caffeine if I need that little boost but I do not drink it every day I actually drink a lot more of fruity tea or like green tea or like sweet tea um, so they know your girl is a tea girl so they came back with um, this really cute tea bags set which I am done drinking <laughs> Ryan was obsessed with it too but the packaging was so cute and I will insert the packaging right now and it was just as delicious as it was pretty in packaging. Jomi is really big on jewelry and um, I, when it comes to jewelry, I really do not know what to wear and what to do and you know, all these kind of different stuff. I, I mean, you guys know I've been wearing this for like the longest time, but other than that, well now I wear my wedding ring um, and my engagement ring, but until then, I never really wore rings on my finger and then now that I've been wearing this, I'm like, oh yeah, I can get used to wearing rings. So I found this ring that I had since um, I think middle school and I was like, oh, it still fits. But other than that, I don't really wear jewelry, but I guess Jomi wanted to kind of introduce me to the new world and she got me this um, bracelet from Pandora. Oh my gosh, the lighting is kind of washing it out. But this is a bracelet from Pandora. She ordered all of the charms and designed it herself. And she, of course, because I'm a big Disney fan, she um, kind of made it all Disney themed. So we have Belle Belle's dress charm right there, the ball gown charm right there. We also have um, a pot, which is supposed to be, I believe, Mrs. Pot. And then we have Cinderella's carriage right here. And then two beautiful red um, charms right there. So yeah, I need to figure out like a coordinate that I could wear with this bracelet. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Jomi. And then I guess while they were at Washington, they went into a boutique and they found this purse and they thought I would really love it and apparently it's like a limited collaboration between um, Mary Frances. I am not too familiar with this designer or the brand but I guess it was a collab between Mary Frances and Disney and these are I guess very limited in quantity and the details are so stunningly beautiful and I have every plan to wear this around during Halloween time, which is not too far. Um, so yeah, this one is the little, um, like a satchel purse bag. It's so pretty. It's got Maleficent right here and all the details are like beaded. It's beautiful. And then on the back is Maleficent Dragon. Gorgeous. And the last item, I know, I told you they spoiled me. Um, <laughs> And the last item they got for me is this one, which is the Disney and Loungefly collaboration Disney um, Stitch Makeup Brush Set. I have seen this set so many times at um, Box Lunch and Hot Topic, and I kept on thinking to myself, I need to pick that up. But I would always like, you know, kind of find a reason to talk me out of it. But now I finally have it and I'm like, why did I not get this any earlier? But I guess it was just meant to be. Because like, I guess they found it for the first time. I've seen it so many times in the past, but I guess they have seen it for the first time when they were in Washington. And they thought of me and they got it for me. So, yay! Seriously, with how many stu stitch stuff I have, it's kind of hard to get me stitch stuff that I do not own. Unless it's like completely new <laughs> well, or completely vintage. Because I think I seriously started collecting st stitch since 2014 something like that I think so yeah here is Stitch I haven't taken in 
taken him out because I just don't know where he's going to go but he will definitely be going up on my stitch shelf I have this entire row I mean when I do my um, office tour you'll see but I have the entire row and then a half row um, so one and a half row of stitch shelf finally we get to the gifts that I got from my husband Ryan um so on my birthday morning Ryan actually surprised me with this birthday stitch this is another stitch plushie which is pretty new but I was like oh my gosh I do want him in my collection I don't have him do I get it but mm, getting me my own birthday plush uh, it just is so weird so I didn't really think to get him and I did not really think he was going to get it for me either and he we we spend so much time together so it's a miracle that he was actually able to get this plushie without me noticing but on my birthday morning he surprised me with this plushie and the cool thing about this stitch plushie is if you press his foot I don't know if you guys can tell but the candles light up he is so cute yes and he will be going up on my stitch shelf last but not least there is one final item that my um husband ryan got it for me and it was actually an item that i actually asked for um ryan and i are pretty open about our gifts like we usually ask each other what do you want for so and so occasion and we usually tell each other what we want because I believe it's so much easier even though I enjoy like kind of listening to cues and hints for other people's gifts when it comes to my gifts or when it comes to my family's gifts I like asking them what they would like so that I can make sure I can get something that they absolutely need or want or wanted but didn't really want to spend their money on do you know what I mean so yeah I had to ask this item from Ryan and if you guys know I love bows yes I might not wear a lot of necklaces or rings or bracelets or earrings but this girl at every convention that I go to or any kind of occasion that is special to me I have a big bow on my head because I just love bows and it kind of got out of control so I asked for an item that can help me manage all of that and this is what I got don't judge me I'm in still I'm still in my PJ don't judge <laughs> but this is um, actually a jewelry case so the key goes here but I didn't want to like break it but if you open it it's not only a full body mirror but I can store like jewelry in here I don't really wear dangly earrings but I do have some earrings studs here and then I can put my headbands here too and this is where I'm going to put all of my bows I still have some bows that I need to organize here and I still have more too but I'm actually going to be creating like a ribbon where I could just hang all of my bows I don't really have a vanity so when I'm actually doing my makeup I sit on the floor and I kind of pull this out and this is where I have my makeup <laughs> <laughs> That's all my makeup an eyeliner another eyeliner and then brow liner and I just use this to kind of get my thing out of the way and then I keep my Cotton swabs in there. That's literally all my makeup guys <laughs> Yeah, so I still I do have some storage space here that I can put more ribbons and I mean bows I keep on saying ribbons, but bows and bows and so yeah this is the gift I got from Ryan that I asked for. So those are all of the items I got for my birthday. I know a lot of people are probably going to say, Lastig, you are spoiled. But I still wanted to share everything I got with you guys because I know you guys get curious and I do enjoy, you know, sharing the things I got and share the excitement and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, 